when it's not taken seriously at the federal level, it's very difficult uh, to transcend down to the local level in making these decisions. In hindsight, if we were given clear direction, we would not have had Mardi Gras, and I would have been the leader to cancel. COVID-19 has also had an impact on our local economy. You probably remember this scene in an interview with New Orleans Mayor LaToya Cantrell last week. She said she would have canceled Mardi Gras, we just heard it, if given proper guidance from national leaders on the coronavirus. Well, concerns of response have become a big talker in the past few weeks, with people wondering if government officials have been acting quick enough as the nation fights to flatten the curve. This morning, we have Wallet Hub analyst Jill Gonzalez with us, going over the areas with the most aggressive response from officials against the coronavirus pandemic. And we know your recent Wallet Hub report lists Louisiana as the 10th most aggressive state. We're happy about that. We usually don't do very well on these lists. Tell us how you got to that number. Yeah, absolutely. So we actually first released this on March 16th, where Louisiana was far from the top 10. We released it about a week later, where Louisiana had certainly made up a lot of ground. One of the biggest categories that we looked at was prevention and containment. And that's where Louisiana now ranks seventh. It's the most weighted category. That's why it, it ranks so well over, overall. And it has to do with how many uh, tested cases of COVID-19 have increased. Uh, things like the epidemiology workforce, banning large gatherings now, restricting travel for state employees, announcing statewide school closures, all of those things that Louisiana, you know, once they realized what needed to be done, really did answer the call. Yeah, definitely kudos to our administration. A lot of people thought they jumped the gun a little too early and it might have even been a little too late. So 10th overall. Um, let's go back to how we got that number. You just said that the prevention and um, containment rank was weighted. Okay, so another thing that you looked at was risk factors and infrastructure rank. We ranked 41st there. What, what does that entail? So these are the things already in place within the state uh, to see how that might hurt or help what's going on there. And unfortunately, in Louisiana, infrastructure could certainly use some work. Sure. Even where we're talking about, you know, things like the share of the uninsured population, that could be better. Hospital beds per capita, ICU beds per capita, you know, all of these things, unfortunately, could be a lot uh, spread out more within the state. And then another thing you looked at, economic impact rank, we got 43 there. That's where we landed. Exactly. So being able to have Mardi Gras, you know, I think not the best for health. Definitely a boost for the economy, though, before so many things shut down. I mean, Louisiana relies heavily on accommodation and food services, arts, entertainment, recreation, all of these things that are now seeing an absolute drop and not necessarily to zero, but very close. So because of that, the economy will take a little bit longer to bounce back than in other states. Yeah, and I do have to, in Mayor LaToya Cantrell's defense, during Mardi Gras, I don't think anyone in the nation realized how bad it was going to be. And then she went ahead and canceled St. Patrick's Day parades and people had a fit. So I can't even imagine if we would have canceled Mardi Gras, just the uproar here. Um, what other uh, factors did you weigh in on this? So the other things here that I don't think helped Louisiana, but again, none of this can really, you know, be helped or improved, but a very large share of employment there does come from small businesses yes. who are really feeling the effects right now. Uh, a lot of wage and salary workers that are paid at hourly rates, those hours have seen a, a huge decrease or possibly furloughs uh, or layoffs. And just looking at things like the preparedness of the state for unemployment insurance claims, we know that Louisiana is still in some parts bouncing back from the recession, from Hurricane Katrina. So in some parts of the state, unfortunately, this is compounding sure. things that have been felt for years. All right. This is a very interesting study, and it's interesting that we've done better and better the, as you continue to look into this study. Jill, thank you so very much for your time.